Hello guys, what is up? This is Goat to Galway here with an episode to determine how to use PKX on your Nintendo 3DS for Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, or even X and Y if you want to use those. So first off, you're going to need the Homebrew channel. So if you do not have the Homebrew channel, refer to my Homebrew channel tutorial on my YouTube channel. And once you have done that, and once you have gotten the Homebrew channel, come back over here and watch it. Well, you're still here, so I'm guessing you already have the Homebrew channel. That's awesome. So anyways, what you need to do first is have your game in your 3DS, whether it's Office of Sapphire, Mega Ruby, or X, or Y. Then go over to the Save Manager and click the left arrow key. And then click A, once it is on Pokemon Office of Sapphire. Mine is Office of Sapphire, yours can be whatever you want it to be. So, you're going to be sent to this ISO screen that says Backup Save Data, Import Save Data, or Exit. What you want to do is click Backup Save Data, so click on the button A. And then that will back it up. If you want to, you know, just play around with it a little bit, then do that. And then click the button X. Once you have done that, it will take you back to the Homebrew Launcher. Now, what I want you guys to do over here is click Start and then click A just to send you to the homebrew channel because now we're going to be putting the SD card into our computer and do the rest of the nonsense over there. Once you have put the SD card in your computer, go ahead and see that there is a save data backup folder. Click on that and make sure that there's a main file in there. If there is, that means that you did successfully back up the save file from the homebrew channel. After you have seen that, go ahead into the description below and see that there is a projectpokemon.org um, link. Then, once you're on there, go onto the thing, scroll down just a little bit, and you will see that there is a PK Hex folder. And you click on it, and it should download that. Now, remember, there is a case where PK Hex may not really work too well if it is not in its most updated software. This is August 8th. 2015 now if there is a new one make sure that you do download that make sure that you do look over here quite often because there may be updates and whatnot that may screw around with it so make sure that after you've downloaded that um, you know just make sure that you actually do um, you know just update it and whatnot and get the newest version whatever there is one once you download that though open it up and you should see there's big hex over there just extract that over to your documents and then open it up I've already played around with this just a little bit, but what you need to do once you open that up is click File, click Open, go over to the main folder, which is, you know, inside of your SD card already. So just go save data back up, click on the main, and then here we go. You have all of your Pokemon in here, you know, wherever the save data may be, all this cool stuff over here. So what you need to do over here is, um, you know, do whatever you want. Make a nice little Pokemon and transfer into the game. If you guys do not know how to make Pokemon and make them legal and work, then please refer to my video in the description below, which is how to make Pokemon legal and how to make them, you know, competitive. Whatever you guys want to do with your Pokemon, that's the video that you guys want to go check out. It does teach you how to do everything. Now, it's like how to beat up the game and whatnot, but it does teach you how to make the Pokemon legal and make them work online and all that cool stuff. So you guys definitely got to go check that video out if you are not aware of what you have to do. If you know how to do all that kind of stuff, then hey, welcome. And what basically you need to do is, um, let's say you want to make a, you know, just a nice little row of Amolgas. Because you guys know how much I love Amolgas. Click on view or go on the file that may contain it. You know, in my case, it would go be in the documents. You click over here and then you click, you know, Amolga.ekx. You know, it was, already, it was already a file made a long time ago. And then let's go over here and let's make a good row of them in the bottom. Because we already have a row on the top. I might as well make a row on the bottom. Just click set a couple of times over here. And uh, once you are done with that, Go over to over here, which says Sav, or Save, or Sav, or whatever you want to pronounce it. Then click Expert Sav, go over to your SD card, the real little disk in my end, and then go over to Save Data Backup, and overwrite the main file. You click Yes, Saved Cyber Sav 2, and then basically all you have to do is put the SD card back onto your 3DS, and open up the Homebrew Launcher yet again. Once you're on the homebrew launcher now, go over to Save Manager, click the left D-pad button again, just like we did in the first place, and then click A. And then I'll take you to the same exact screen as we were at before. And what you need to do now, instead of clicking A to back it up, click B to import the save data that we just made. And after that, click X. Pretty simple. Very, very easy. 
now it's gonna say region free launcher it doesn't really matter this is basically you you know opening up your game except you know why, why go all the way to your game i'll go all the way to the menu whenever you can just open it up through here now you're gonna have a sapphire just click a a couple of times and all that cool stuff and get onto the safe found that we are already on now let's see will the amalga be in the pc we made a whole entire row on the bottom so let's see if they are going to be there and survey says they are all here so there we go that's all you gotta just gotta do to use pk hex on your 3ds very simple it's actually a lot quicker than using the um the internet browser exploit that used to be a thing and um honestly the homebrew channel has been really really helpful in terms of higa hacks and other sort of cool things so if you guys did enjoy this video and it did help you please do drop a like on the video and drop a comment if you have any questions and whatnot i'll be trying to help out anybody who does have any help but be sure to refer to the two videos that i did mention before that are both in the description below that uh pretty much helps you out to get the homebrew channel and helps you out to create the post Pokemon to so legality. Now, this video has nothing to do with the Pokemon's legality and creating the Pokemon. I already have a video on that, so no need to show that, but this is how you do use it, um, you know, using saves and whatnot, and uh, that's pretty much it. Hope to see you guys later, and peace.